Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here, the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures review. In this review, take a look at Ultra Class Ramjet. Uh, and this is the box he comes packaged in. He is just held in by like these kind of paperish ties. There's no plastic in this whatsoever. So he's got a cut. Uh, this one holds like his upper body. These hold his arms in and those hold his feet down there clip those suckers you can pull them right out the box the thing is his uh his uh shoulder weapons are just held in these right here as you see i didn't clip them at all i was able to pull these weapons they're both in there together right out through the little ties without really any problem so i would say check if you see this in storage and you want to buy this for yourself or kid uh, cousin birthday gift whatever just make sure those are still there because they can be taken out without any really any kind of hassles but the figure you do need to clip out he is a little bit harder to get out and a good thing about these guys uh, i'll get to that later all right so turn around the box here you see some uh, he's an action attacker ultra class see some little box art there which is also the box art here which is very good art i actually dig the art on these things and it's very similar art, but it shows his little energon armor feature that comes over and covers him up i guess it's supposed to help protect his head i don't know i don't watch cyberverse but i like seekers i saw him uh when he was previewed or just another you know, little show of pictures you look kind of cool. I was like, hey, I kind of I kind of want to get it and see how it is. Turn around, 12 steps gets you from robot to jet mode. Function, menacing seeker. He's evil ramjet. So, yeah, he's going to be pretty menacing. So, we'll put this to the side. We'll bring in the figure right here. Here is ramjet. We'll lower the camera down. Uh, it's a nice looking figure. I do like the color schemes on it. He's more black than he is white. Even the white on him is an off white. The white here is more like a smoky white. And it's uh, the white here is more white white. Yes, white white. It's not pure white, but it's more white than what you got here. But this seems to be uh, painted. And what is this? Is like the straight up plastic. The plastic here is this uh, kind of grayish black going on down there. He's got more of a you know, actual gray here and here and out right there on the soul patch on his face. He's got red eyes. He's got really thick lips. Uh, he almost got like a gorilla-esque face. I don't know, but he's got really big lips. Uh, kind of cool looking. He looks, He does look menacing back. I mean, he cleans up well. There's not really anything, you know, too hollow in this guy, but articulation is what you're going to be lacking on the figure. Now, he is an ultra-class figure. We're going to get some comparisons right out of the way. Here he is next to his namesake in Earthrise. Here is Ramjet. And as you can see, he is smaller than a Voyager class Transformer. The color schemes are off. You know, he's more white. He's got more of the black. But I still, and more Seekers, the merrier. I like having Jets. And he looks pretty cool in Jet. Uh, more comparison. This will probably show his more true height. Here is the Siege Ironhide. Pretty much the same exact height. So he's about the height of a deluxe figure. Screamer. And he's pretty much the same height as the other one. So you get him straight up packaged like this. And you get his guns. And they pull them, put them right there in the pick holes on his arms. And then you can put his weapons in like that. This arm here actually activates the Energon armor feature. And we'll show that off. It's just got to turn his arm. And then it's supposed to come up and boom, it's right on his head. This just pops right out. This is on. A little turn his arm. There is a little mechanism here that hits the spring it will spring load the armor right out which i hate hate the gimmick and it's cool for kids and you can be cool for adults but it'd be better if it actually worked fully it's supposed to come down so his face is like this it doesn't do that and there's no tabbing here that i can see on this that will actually hold it to stay there so it's always wanting to just come up like that as just you know that's that's piss poor in my opinion uh, but it just folds right back up. You want to collapse this part in. Make sure you get that little snap when you do so. Like that. And you want to fold this part underneath. It goes right here on his back and close this up. Again, this doesn't tab either. It just sits there loosely. So it just constantly wants to just push up. Not that bad in robot mode, but it becomes a problem when he's in jet mode. Oh, no, I didn't want to activate the feature. Let's push that back in. All right. So that is his action feature, which... It's cool, but it'd be cooler if it actually worked correctly.
correctly. Articulation on the figure, you get shoulders to there. You have ball jointed elbows. That's where you can get your little swivels as well. The head is fixated. That's what I was going to say earlier in my review when I was looking at the packaging. So no one's ripping the heads off of these guys because the head is stuck to it. Um, articulation on the legs. you got the wing here is connected to the legs. So you're not going to get very far out because the wings are just in your way. Uh, you kick forward to there. Back, you're not going very far because the big old back back here. Uh, but you do get some knee bends. So we'll just bend the knees to there. There are no ankle tilts, but he is molded in an A stance, so he does sit pretty well. Uh, there's no waist swivels either. So that's your articulation on this figure. He's very lacking in articulation. Now the wings do move. There are some uh, pins here, so you can move them back and forth, little hinges. Those need to collapse down like that. Also, another thing you can do, these little thrusters on here, you can actually take those off. It's hollow! Way. Okay, uh, you spin it around. And then you can now take this weapon here. You'll pull this part out and it goes down like that. And then you're just going to put this in his hand. You're, what you're going to do is make like a little beat down toy or tool. You just want to shove this through his hand. Like that. Then you're going to take the little whole part here. And you're just going to put it like that. Yeah, he's got like a big staff. Now he, you know, not just knock this ray off. So now he can uh, whoop somebody as they're coming by, which I think actually looks pretty cool as a little figure. If you had him be like a guard on Cybertron, he could be one of the just minions, just many of the seekers who could be guarding like prisons. Whatever, use your imagination, go wild with it. Uh, it's a cool figure in that aspect. So let's go ahead and transform him real quick. Yeah, not much going on here in robot mode, so we'll just pull that back out. Fits pretty snug. Remove his null rays or guns, cannons, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to bring this arm up. Actually, the feature, we'll just put that back in. Alright, I said get back in. <laughs> I said get back in. Now we're going to take his legs. You see these little tabs? We're just going to tab his legs together. There are also some tabs in here. It's really hard to see, but you're going to tab his knees to his thighs. You heard it click there. I'm going to bring his wings down like this. I'm going to bring this part up. Tabs right there into this little slot. Fold this piece out. Bring it over his head. And take this here. It's going to untap from there. And you're going to rotate it this way. As you bring do that, bring your arm down like this. What we're going to do is there's a red tab here. A little slot here. And that is going to uh, tap together. Like that. And you're going to do the same with this one. This one's a little bit different because of the transformation. You bring it down first then we're going to rotate it around and then we're going to do the same thing there's a slot back there a little tab and we're just going to tap his arms together without untabbing his legs how about that and now you're going to take his thrusters you took off from the weapon just collapse a piece back down you want these little gray pieces to face outwards so we'll put that one here there it goes i put that one there now we'll put that one here and now we're going to fold these up, the gray ones. Doing so will probably untab the wings from the arms, so it just easily retabs. Or you want to take his guns, the little circles here on the wing. You can put it back under his arms right there if you want to. I mean, there's two spots, but you just meant to go right here on the little fans. So you can take that one and do this one like so. There you go. Yeah, now fully transported him into jet mode. And it does make an, a nice looking jet. If you look at it head on for the top view, side view, it's not too bad. It's just I wish this would sit flush. I wish it had a tab or something so you don't get the gap right here. 
underside is where it does not shine you have the full robot to stare back at you because the head has no articulation you're not gonna be able to turn it around to hide the face the arms just move down so it's like he just moved his arms and uh, turned his guns around but he still i think looks pretty good in the rest of the modes and you got visible hands back here but it looks nice let's we'll see if it does it looks like it should support some blast effects so i didn't actually see that in robot mode but let's try this in vehicle mode Yes, of course, you can put some on the weapons there. Um, I'm looking, you can probably do that in thrusters. Yep, do one there. Uh, do it there. This one you might be a little bit harder. And that one's not going to hold because of that, but you can just stick them down here in the bottom part, though. So, it still works. So, you, it does support blast effects, so that is cool. As I said, I just... Uh, it's a nice looking jet and if you're looking for a figure that's just an extra grunt muscle a brute a guard use your imagination let it run wild a red shirt cannon fodder this is perfect you want more seekers background seekers is extra jets it's a nice figure for that cause it does cost around twenty dollars for that price for the you no know, the gimmick doesn't work the way it's supposed to at least on my copy and that that's a bummer you can say and with the lack of articulation for an adult collector i wouldn't rec really recommend it unless you're just into seekers into jets into ramjet but for kids yeah, i could still see the fun and playability out of the figure uh, even if some of the parts don't work perfectly the kids imagination will probably fill in the gaps or help correct some of the errors because it's not bad bad so it's still overall a good looking toy uh just final thoughts on this if you're a collector it's an easy pass if you want to get a gift for a kid for the birthday christmas whatever it's a nice little pickup and a lot of kids like jets i like jets people like seekers it's a nice fun little toy for that i mean thanks for watching this transformers cyberverse review until the next ones